Okay, so in this video we'll see how to set up our Velostratos Maxo Pump for backnet communication. So the module is already installed and uh, wired. Uh, so all we have to do now is, is program the pump. You can go ahead and start venting as it takes roughly 10 minutes, but um, and you can continue with your settings. But I will not do that now. I will go through my settings first and I will do the venting later. So first settings you select your country where the pump is installed and all that kind of stuff like uh, what units you want to see on the pump US units or metric uh, language is English what I want okay we want to see US units okay for the settings assistant here's where you set your control method so for the purpose of this video, we'll say this pump is installed in a heating application and uh, I will go with basic control modes. I will choose proportional pressure because this is the most used control method for heating applications. Okay. Default is 6.6 .6 feet, probably half, half of what this pump can do. Uh, your pump is probably going to be different. Um, okay, so just let okay, so finish initial settings. Okay, so here you can manually adjust your set point, but doesn't really matter because you will um, uh, set your set point through the backnet network that you will configure here in a second. So, okay, so under if you go under the um, settings menu you select external interfaces this is where you you configure all of your analog inputs digital inputs and, and communication for this pump so in this case we want backnet so here you go this is backnet mstp settings enter that whether you have a module installed or not the uh, you can turn uh, I mean even if you have it installed you can turn it off you you don't have to use it if, um, you know if you don't want to use backnet so we will switch it on the blue LED came on so that indicates that exter some sort of external interface is used okay the next step what you have what we have to set up is the um, the MS the, the, the backnet MSTP address so this is really your, your MAC address. So for the purpose of this example, we'll do five. The instance number, which will be usually it's provided to you by the automation engineer. So let's say in this case is 1981. it you set up your instance number and of course the baud rate you want to select the speed of your network so default is 38,400 let's leave it at this and that's it so right now the pump is communicating through backnet and as you can see all the way to the upper side of the screen there there is a blue um, icon there which if you scroll up you'll see that it's information about the, um, the backnet connection so here you see a summary of, of your backnet settings so your address the, the address is number it's five current instance number it's 1981 and three zeros after that current baud rate so here it is and if you want to configure your CIF module, you can go directly to that menu from here so you don't have to access the entire menu. So just hit the context button, configure CIF module, enter, and here you go. You're already you're, you're back in here. So right now you can you can actually send a different set point to the pump. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can do whatever you want I will turn this pump off for right now since my valves are closed okay 
So as you can see here on the screen, it says CIF module. So the pump is controlled externally through the communication module. That's it.